People tend to travel for two different motives. On the one hand, people travel because they need to escape from their day-to-day -day lives. And I think, I mean, this is a product of urbanization, living in big cities, losing contact with nature, because when people used to live in rural communities, it wasn't necessary to take long holidays because, I mean, the winters and the autumns and the different seasons actually dictated times for rest and everything. But since man, especially in uh, the Western world, has begun to live a life that is dictated more by work that doesn't respect the seasons, we kind of find this necessity every now and then to stop and kind of retouch base with ourselves, with other people, with nature, with God, in order to rehumanize our world to some extent. And I think in pilgrimage, the dimension of actually searching for some degree of an encounter, either through meeting people or going to places where there is a kind of density of God's presence. For example, when you walk into the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, after going through all the confusion of the bazaars, and you walk into the church, and then you go into that little chapel where Christ was supposed to have risen from there, and you walk into that little room, I don't think you can do anything else but pray. Because you just feel that here, in this particular spot, something happened that is so special that has never been repeated in the history of humanity. People tend to think of pilgrimage more as an act of arriving at a shrine or at a holy place. But the pilgrimage is actually the journey. And we of the 21st century, because we do have very fast means of transport, we run the risk of actually losing that element of the travel. Because the road is the pilgrimage, and it prepares you for the encounter at the shrine or the, uh, or the place where you're going to. A pilgrimage is it's like putting order into your life. Going back to put real order into your life. Order in terms of your relationship with other persons. Order in, in terms of your relationship with God and even your relationship with yourself. And um, at the end of the day, if I'm not exaggerating, sin is disorder. And pilgrimage gives an, oppo an opportunity to recover that harmony that's been lost through everyday life. And that's why it's a deeply religious experience.